We're back at it. Another pairing video. Today we are going for the very first time to grill an artichoke. The artichoke. So first what we have to boil it for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know, there's like I grill it. No, but there's like olive oil and salt and pepper and, and there's garlic cloves. Garlic dip. And then after you dip in the garlic dip, you put it in the grill. Mmm, that sounds good. And we also have chorizo sausage to pair with a vino verde. Vino verde. I'm excited. So good. we will start with the artichoke. We're going to bring this stuff outside to the grill. We'll show you that. And we'll taste the wine as well. We have the artichokes here. Boiling. Carlos is outside getting the chorizo sausage ready. Let's go outside and see what he's doing. I just feel like if we don't vlog the cooking part, there's not going to be much of a vlog there. So, hello. Okay, you're just cleaning the barbecue, just clean the barbecue. getting it ready. We have four big sausages. Do you know how spicy they are? Uh, like this is dirty. The lady told me that they had a bite to it, but they weren't that spicy. Good. We don't like too spicy. Yeah, just so a I little spicy. Like sounded like a good description. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we will keep filming what we're doing. Things are getting a little smoky out here. Yeah. Is that normal? Chorizo is just dripping fat. It smells really good. Oh, it smells so good. And now, is that the artichoke on the in the boulder? The oh, okay. So we're gonna put that on the grill next? Yep. Holy crap, so that's really like control. on fire. <laughs> so here we have the artichokes. We're just almost done. Just want to get them nice and brown. And these guys are all just ready. I put some butter in a couple of them, see how it is. And they look pretty good. They look ready. This is the final product. I already cut myself some of the chorizo, but that's the artichoke. We have the vino verde. So we're just gonna do taste the vino verde now mm -hmm. and then dig in. But I really don't know how to eat the artichoke. Like, I do you eat these? <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. That seems too fibrous. I don't know. So I had to research how to eat an artichoke because I've never had an artichoke like this <laughs> so basically like you just have to take pull your, take your teeth and like pull off the the meaty bit here and then we also have like an olive oil garlic salt pepper dip to dip it in but i'm gonna try it by itself first and then i'll try it with the dip mm. did you get some it's hard <laughs> You know, that one just didn't have a lot of meat. Maybe. Okay, we'll come back to this. Mmm, hang on. I'm doing it. I'm on this one. You did it? Okay. Mmm, that tastes really good. It's like the barbecue. Oh, it does it. Nice. And I don't know why I read to pair... I can't remember where I read to pair artichoke with um, vino verde. Oh my gosh, it's actually really good. Okay, I gotta try it with the garlic. Is it very garlic or garlic yeah, that, or what? Yeah, that's a little overpowering. I think it's good by itself. Mm -hmm. Just the way it is. Good. Mm. Oh my god, it's really good. Oh look at that! So it looks were cheap too. Yeah, I think with the wine, it's really nice. Like I think that's a, a good <laughs> pairing decision for sure. This is really good. Nice. Yeah. Well, let's keep uh, eating and tasting, and then we'll. We'll film some more. Yeah. Okay, Sarah really dug into that artichoke. It's so good. Like, we are definitely going to be cooking these again. I'm just kind of disappointed that it's August, what, 14th? And I just got into the mindset now of like, oh, let's do summer foods with summer wines. And like, let's use the barbecue more. So I think from now until we leave for Germany, so going to September, we're gonna be barbecuing a lot and doing a lot of like summer wines. So rosés, whites, sparkling, stuff like that. 
Anyway, the artichoke is amazing and it actually pairs really well with the vino verde. I don't know why. I don't know why. Cause like Carlos and I were just learning about like the tastes in food and then how those flavors pair with wine. So I'm not sure why it goes well together yet, but I just know that it goes well. And then I think the chorizo with the vino verde is just so good because I think the vino verde is so acidic, you still get the flavor, but it really helps refresh your palate after having that spicy chorizo. I think it's a great, great, great pairing and I would definitely do it again. Um, I think Carl's opened up the camera because he wanted me to talk about the vino verde, the wine, but I got off topic. Should I say like my tasting notes on it? I actually just wanted you to talk about the meal and the oh, pairing, yeah. Okay, well yeah. Then I Which was that. better, with the artichoke or the chorizo with the vino verde? No, they're both so good. I think they're equal. Yeah, equal? Yeah. There you go. Uh, how do, what do you give the pairing out of five? Ooh. <laughs> mm, I'll get back to you on that. What do you give it out of five? I don't know. We'll get back to you on that I too. I think I give it a four. I only had the chorizo though, so I don't know if the artichoke would have been better or what. The artichoke's so good. Hey, the chorizo was just, it was good. The spicy that goes well with the vino verde, but I, I, it didn't wow me. That was good. Yeah, let's keep tasting a little more and then we should give our tasting notes as well for the, the wine after. Sure. We have finished. I I think we both feel the same about the wine. Maybe I liked it a little bit more than Carlos. I give the wine a 3.5 out of 5. I think it's light. It's very refreshing. It's definitely something you want to drink on a hot day. Um, it's easy si to sip. And I almost get like a mineral. I do get a mineraliness to it and almost a herbal aspect. Um, very acidic, dry. Uh, Carlos, I think you gave it what, a 3 to 5? Yeah, three out of five. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I think the pairing, I agree with Carlos. Like, I would give it a 4.5 out of five. I think it'd be hard to find another wine that could go as well with, like, a spicy chorizo as this wine. I think the acidity held up to the the meatiness of the wine, cause, or, sorry, of the chorizo, because the chorizo wasn't too, like, umami. Yeah. It was more fatty. And I think the wine, the acidity, and the freshness... Of it could stand up to it so I definitely would recommend the this vino verde for a spicy sausage or a spicy dish and now what do you say what do I say uh yeah the mm. the lighting's not very good for you no well, it's fine the wine itself was okay I give it a three out of five it's not very you know wild it's a white wine kind of dry fresh, easy to drink, and a little bit herbal, some mineraliness to it, and yeah. And regard and with regard to the pairing, it's good with, with the chorizo, so I give it a 4 out of 5 the pairing. It's good, like yeah, like Sarah says, I don't know what what else could pair well with the chorizo, it's like, it's like a pairing actually. Like, yeah. And like a white wine with me, that, that's... Yeah, it actually it. is pretty impressive. Is and this is the one. I don't think we showed it yet, but it's the... Oh God, you can pronounce it because you're the Portuguese. Muralhas de Monção. <laughs> yeah, so it's this one. The oh Muralhas gosh, the light is Monso. terrible. And the Vino Verde. And so. so yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, our it was, it was a good experience. Yeah, this, this wine is good. And yeah, would you recommend it? Yeah. I recommend yeah. it for sure. Yeah. So that it's was our yeah, preparing good. for our, me trying to be very like summer and summer meals and summer Doing wine. stuff outside, yeah. Yeah, so we'll have a lot more to come. I think we're gonna be doing one a week now. We kind of fell off and now I'm like really into it. So yes, stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.